In Sweden's largest lake, Vänern, the island of Bromme is a favorite among locals for its idyllic nature and secluded beaches. There is a small network of hiking trails and a gravel road for a lovely bike ride with the family. Today, you join my cousin Edvin and I on a two-day backpacking trip around the island. Howdy folks, Eric here from North American Adventures. I have my cousin Edwin with me today, or Edwin in English perhaps. We are out on Bromme doing a two-day backpacking trip and the mosquitoes are already out. So we're getting the bug spray on and then we're gonna get moving right away. Immediately on the forest trail and we found some blueberry bushes. Just pop them right in your mouth. Mmm, that's good. Little snack on the way. We got our first roadblock here. Definitely gonna have to go around, not over. See what we come up with. <laughs> the first of many. Did it hop up or else? Oh, that worked. <laughs> yeah, not ideal. Back on track. Lots of butterflies and and dragonflies. Stora Vita Sand! That's the beach we're going to. We are really out in the thick of it here, but I can see the road just through there, so it should clear up in a minute. <laughs> it's all good. More blueberries. And we're out. Camping spot here, out in the forest. Some lawn chairs. And, uh, is that a sandloda? Yeah, it Not... be used to extinguish a fire. Oh, Probably contains something else. Uh... Nice. 
we got a straight away to the beach now. Maybe another mile or so. We found some mushrooms on the road here. Yeah, we really found some fun guys. Boop, boop. <laughs> Let's keep going. You can see there's some dark clouds in the distance here and we just heard some thunder. We don't have far to the beach now, so we're just gonna keep at it. Definitely still gonna go swimming, but we might have to find a little bit of shelter if there's any rain coming down. All right, we finally made it out to the north side of the island. You can see Vannon beyond here. We are gonna follow along this trail just a little bit further to the beautiful Sturavita Sand, the great white sand, which is a nice beach. And we've made it into the beach. Let's check it out. It's a real beach. They call it Sturavita Sand for a reason. We might as well take this table here then we'll have a little bit of a, a breeze coming in. Arriving at the beach, we decided to go for a dip before eating lunch. We're warming up some chili for lunch, and I also brought chili, so we're gonna be chili buddies today. It was pretty cold in the water, maybe about 60, maybe even colder, who's to say? The beach is kinda nice. It was very refreshing, but it's nice that, yeah, there's a proper sand beach here. We're gonna relax for an hour or two before we get moving again. There's a butterfly in my boot. Exactly. That's not a snake. He's found a home in there. Hmm? Or she. Who's to say? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful view. Oh yeah. I was just finishing warming up my chili and you can see the rain started coming down. We've got our stuff under a tree over here. Gidvin's got a proper rain cover. Here's the cloud in question. Bastard, leave us alone. What? Yeah, we're we're expecting potential rain today, so it's not that big of a surprise. We're gonna. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna eat anyhow. We just had our lunch. It's like half an hour later now. The rain is really picking up. You can see. The clouds are dark in the sky. We're gonna try and get moving again here so we can make it to the wind shelter, rain shelter for the night. Since it doesn't seem like it's gonna get a lot nicer anytime soon. So there's some birds over there. And there's also a cute little duck family. I don't think they're ducks. Oh, they're not ducks? I don't, I, I'm not really certain. Oh, look, they're all trying to eat right now. Yeah, I think they're diving. I think they fully dive down. Ducks doesn't really do that. They just with their butts up in the air. <laughs> to see it, to it. Yeah, of course. It's always bad with kids. Okay, the rain is dying down just a bit. We are all packed up and ready to get moving. We only have another two miles or so to the wind shelter. And we're off. Some 
more mushrooms here growing amongst the moss right along the beach. It seems like there is a nice wind shelter here as well. It's quite nice actually. But that was not the intended. But not the one that we are going to be sleeping in tonight. So we're going to continue along the edge of the island for a bit and then wrap down south to Rikehamn where our wind shelter is waiting. You can see, boop, follow the path. It just keeps raining. We've got a ways to go. Morale is high. We're just singing Swedish summer songs. A little bit ironic considering the weather, but that's life, baby. So the rain is really coming down. The path is actually supposed to lead out onto a bit of a peninsula here, but we're gonna follow the road, I guess you'd call it, as much as possible so we can get a little less distance before we make it to the shelter. Because we're already soaked. We got our rain gear on, obviously, but you can only do so much. We're hopping back out onto the forest path. I think we have less than 10 minutes to the wind shelter. Morale is slowly dying, but that's okay. Once we get there and we dry off, we'll be happy again. Blame the weather, man. <laughs> Curse you, weather man. Got ourselves a sign. One, one point two to Rukeham. That is where the shelter is. That is where we are going. Another obstacle. We're going around instead of over so we don't slip and fall. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living on a prayer. Make it, I swear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. All right. We have probably half a kilometer left. Just a little bit further south here, and then it should be right around there. This is the area where you can wade across and even walk across at low tide without getting wet to the next island over called Hovden. You can see people have camped here before. But we continue on. We want to get dry. Ain't that right? Yes. <laughs> there it is. You can see it. We're almost home. That'll be nice. I think we'll take this one so that we can get a nice view out over the lake. Yeah. Very roomy, very spacious. And best of all, you can actually be dry. <laughs> yes, perfect. We've made it to the shelter. There's a nice fire pit here. Got a bit of a mug <laughs> mugnet. <laughs> Got a bit of a bug net going here. We'll see how effective it is at keeping the mosquitoes at bay, but we do have a beautiful view and you can see in the distance it might be clearing up later in the evening. So we'll see what we get up to. Just past 8 o'clock, you can see the rain has stopped, but a fog has rolled in. It's giving a nice eerie vibe. We just had our late dinner. I'm going to head back in to the shelter and we'll get some sleep pretty soon here waking up pretty early tomorrow so we can get some breakfast going and then we'll be heading off this way to the next beach it's supposed to be sunnier tomorrow so fingers crossed
All right, it's about 9.30. Just packing up the last of our stuff. Gonna have a quick breakfast. It does look like it's gonna be a nicer day today. So far it's a bit chilly, but I'm sure it will warm up nicely. It just passed 10 o'clock and we are packed up and ready to go. Just gonna throw some stuff out. Conveniently located along the path. Then we continue along the way. Watch out, because it's wet. Oh, yeah. A lot of spider webs. We're going the right way. A little bit more of a swamp land here. Super cool that you can see the moisture on all the spider webs here. Very interesting effect. We got a downhill section. Mm -hmm. Easy to slip for sure. Oh, what the f After making it down to San Viken, we decided to enjoy a quick swim before continuing onwards. Just coming back from the beach there, had a quick dip, enjoyed the, some sun. Now we're heading back towards the ferry. We have maybe a mile, mile and a half max, and we have about an hour to get there. So should be plenty early for the ferry ride back. Thank you. 
Fairy left. There is a small museum beside the ferry which showcases the history of Bromé Island and Mariestad, the nearby city. Despite the heavy rain on day one, we really enjoyed our time on Brome Island and finished the day off with a tasty meal at the restaurant on the mainland. I had a rek maka, or shrimp sandwich, which is one of my favorite things to eat in Sweden. Thanks for watching!